How am I supposed to make a hook when there's not any news? Jeez, man, this crypto market is killing me. I guess that's why I didn't make a video yesterday. Sorry about that, but it's all right. We'll make up for it today. At least the price of Bitcoin seems to have bounced back to prices we haven't seen in just, I don't know, like a week or so. But we're still trapped right here because it is September still. But on the bright side, at least we're halfway through this horrible ass month. But depending on what happens with the price action over the next few days, we could have a catalyst that'll send us one direction or the other. But if recent history has been any indication, it's probably just going to send us exploding sideways. We just put a pretty boring week behind us, even though we did have CPI coming out. And it was higher than expectations, but the markets were pretty much undecided on whether this was going to be bullish for the Fed or not. And if this was going to confirm that they're actually going to continue with their pause on Wednesday or if they're going to continue with rate hikes because inflation is starting to tick back up. It wasn't apparently a big enough of a miss though to move the market significantly because as I said earlier we've been just continuing to explode sideways and with the Fed meeting being only in about four days at the time of recording and there still being a 98% chance of a continuation of this pause it looks like this might actually already be priced into the market, and if that is what we see the Fed doing on Wednesday, we might continue to explode sideways for a little while longer. Like I was saying in my videos recently in the past couple of weeks or so, it really doesn't matter what happens between now and the beginning of October anyway, because whenever the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF is either approved or denied, that's going to officially move the market in the direction that is probably going to continue heading for the rest of the year. Of course, it would be pretty bullish if the Fed continued with their pause, but I know they're going to leave the door open for them to do further hikes in the future. So really, whatever happens on Wednesday might not actually move us very much. Hopefully it will, though, but I just don't expect it to, especially because we're still in September. In bullish news, though, according to this article on Cointelegraph, it looks like Bitcoin's clean energy usage is reportedly exceeding 50% now. And since back in 2021, Elon Musk did state that Tesla would resume accepting Bitcoin as a payment once Bitcoin miners reached the 50% clean energy threshold, it appears that there is a lot of speculation that maybe Elon Musk will announce pretty soon that Bitcoin payments will be accepted again by Tesla. And this would obviously be a boon for the market and send us probably up at least temporarily. But like I said, none of this really matters because it's still September and we still have the BlackRock Bitcoin spot ETF deadline coming up in about the middle of October and we all just kind of have to grit our teeth and grind through this part right here because like I said it's not going to really matter until we get to that point and this pretty much happens at the end of every bear market even if you weren't shaken out by the downward pressure and all of the dumpiness the markets are going to just try to squeeze you out through boredom but I can see the bullish catalyst lining up and as soon as one of these gets passed or something goes right it looks like the markets and the sentiment is really just primed for people to start flooding their money back into the space. In my opinion, it's just a matter of time, and this is still going to be representing the best opportunity to get in before the BlackRock ETF is actually approved, because that's going to be the start of a new era, and eventually retail investors like you and me are just not going to be able to get into the market. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is the Fed meeting actually going to move the markets, and if so, is it even going to matter? Or is the BlackRock spot ETF the most important thing that's going to be moving markets in the near term future? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, I have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, hopefully. And if you want to support my channel, you can get the gear over at OnlyGoodCrypto.com. And for real-time updates in between videos and just to chat it up with the community, you can go over to the free Discord. There's a link down in the description. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button because it really helps me out. And most importantly, don't forget to have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is Abisu. He's named after one of the seven lucky gods of Japan. According to legend, he will bring wealth and prosperity to anybody who evokes his name. So don't forget to write his name in the comments or you'll bring dishonor to your whole portfolio. And check out this video right here. Say goodbye, Abisu.